Sancho because he's being linked with a move to Real Madrid. The reports are saying that Drew Bellingham and Zidane are pushing for Madrid to sign Sanchez. Sorry, Sancho. But Florentino Perez is a bit reluctant to sign him. And I don't know about you guys, but I rate Jadon Sancho very highly. Ever since he got kicked out of Man United squad, I've been begging for Madrid to sign him, especially for the January transfer window, because I thought him on loan would have been a great signing. I think he can provide cover across the front three. He can also play in midfield as a 10. And I get it. People are going to say, well, then you're going to have to either push out Arda Guler or then Brahim Diaz. But I don't think so. There's enough minutes in this squad for everybody. We compete for every single trophy that we're a part of. We go deep in every competition. You're going to need a deep squad so that in case there's injuries or people get suspended, that you have quality players that can step up and fill that role. And if I'm being honest, I also think that Jadon Sancho is better than Brahim Diaz. And I get it. Diaz has been really good for us this season. And whenever he's been given minutes, he steps up. But I just prefer Sancho. That's just me. But you can have both of them. Nobody's saying to sign Sancho for him to start. But as a squad player, come on, man. We don't even really have a proper left wing uh, cover. In case Vinny gets hurt, then you got to put Rodrigo on the left who can do that. And then maybe you start Brahim on the right or you could play Arda Guler there. But what I'm saying is you need depth because injuries will happen. Suspensions will happen. And I think Sancho would be a good player to sign. And it's no surprise that Jude is advocating for them to bring him in because he's English. He probably wants some of his English bros at the club with him. And I think with the way that Jude has broken into this Madrid side, I think you are going to see Real Madrid looking at some young English talent to possibly bring to the club as well. And not just Real Madrid, but I think a lot of elite clubs are going to be looking at Sancho because we all know that him and Manchester United that relationship is over. It's cooked. I do not think that he is going to stay at that club. And I don't think he goes back to Dortmund only because I don't believe Dortmund are going to be able to afford his price range that United are going to put on him, the price tag. I think United are going to probably want 40 to 45 million to sell Sancho. And Dortmund, they usually don't spend that kind of money. I mean, you already see them trying to negotiate signing Ian Matson on a permanent uh, deal, and that might cost them like 35 million. And that's a club record fee for them. So for them to go out there and probably spend close to $50 million on Sancho, I just really can't see that happening. And I think with Sancho returning back to Manchester United, he should force a move away, whether Ten Hag is there or not. Because the club threw him underneath the bus. The club backed a shit manager instead of saying, yo, why did you do that to Sancho? Why did you throw him underneath the bus in a game that he wasn't even a part of? Why did you feel the need to publicly criticize him? And I don't have a problem with managers doing that. There's no issue for me. I think you should call out players publicly. But then I think if a player responds and if he doesn't agree, he shouldn't be punished for that because he's only reacting to what you said publicly. So I think you have to take the good with the bad. And I think not apologizing to Ten Hag is probably the best thing that's ever happened to Sancho because he's went back to Dortmund. He's found his form again, was the man of the match in the first leg of the Champions League semifinal against PSG. And now he finds himself in a Champions League final, being a starter for Dortmund, cooking, being one of their main guys. That's what happens when you stick to your beliefs and you don't apologize to bum managers who can't implement their style of play after two seasons and $400 million spent. So I would love Jaden Sancho at the Bernabeu. I would love to see it. Get it done, Perez. There's nothing to be reluctant about. I think Sancho would also accept the squad role at Madrid. Come on now. We're the best club in the world. Who wouldn't want to do that? And I think he is going to be able to make an impact at the club as well. I think, you know, we can acknowledge that, yes, technically he is a flop at Manchester United because they spent $70 million on him and it hasn't worked out. But I don't think that Sancho is a flop due to anything that's his fault. I think the systems just have not been right for him. Like United have always been trying to do a counterattack thing. That's not what Sancho is good at. That's why I said, if United go out there and sign Olise and play that same style of football, he's going to he's gonna fail. He's not going to succeed because I think he's kind of a similar skill set to what Sancho has. So, yeah, I think this summer is going to be an interesting one for Jaden. I'm interested to see what clubs are going to come in for him. 
I think a lot of teams will be looking around to see how much it costs to bring him in, though, because I don't think Man United can ask for too much money, if I'm being honest. Like, there's no way that you tarnish his character, you kick him out the club, you have him sitting on the bench behind Anthony, Garnacho, Marcus Rashford, and those other bums, and now you're going to look to get a big fee for him? Let's be honest here, bro. His transfer market value is only $25 million. I cannot see him going for that little. I think it will be closer to 40 or maybe even 45. Like, to me, 45 max is what I think Sancho goes for. Maybe if a Premier League club comes in for him, then you might be able to get 50 or maybe even 60. I mean, look, Kai Havertz, who flopped at Chelsea for three seasons, was able to go for 60 million. So with the way that Sancho has been playing on loan at Dortmund, yeah, maybe his price will continue to go up. And if he performs in that Champions League final, if he balls out, scores a goal, provides like an assist, yeah, his price is going to go way up. But I think May United should try to convince him to stay, even though I don't think he should. But I think that's what they need to do. Because United can have talented wingers at the club next season. If you bring back Sancho, you bring back Mason Greenwood, and then you go sign Olise, yeah, now your attack is now upgraded. You look a lot better than what you did this season. But we have to see. I think Arsenal, Man City, even if Chelsea sign him, I think even clubs abroad, right? I think you look at PSG. They're going to need some attacking help. You look at you know maybe one of the Italian clubs, Bayern Munich. I think Barcelona were linked to him as well, but who knows if they can afford him. I think he's going to have his pick, and I just don't think that Man United are the club for him. I think it's just over, bro. I mean, the way that the fans were hate-watching Dortmund week in, week out, hoping that he flops so that they could go back and say, oh, look, Ten Hag was right. Sancho was the problem. Come on now, bro. Like, you couldn't possibly want to go back and play for those fans. But it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Sancho, he's won at the end. Ten Hag is in the mud. He's lost. He looks like he's going to lose his job. And, yeah, I think Jadon Sancho's future is very bright. And hopefully he goes to a club that are going to be serious about winning trophies and they're going to have a good structure and they're going to properly uh, run. Because what's happening at Manchester United right now is an absolute joke, man. The standards at that club are on the floor right now. But we will see. Let me know in the comment section where you think Jadon Sancho will sign in the summer. Will he go back to Dortmund? Will he stay at Man United or do you think he goes to another big club? Hopefully it is Real Madrid.